All right, cool. So first step to customizing your sky is we're going to open up Counter-Strike with Half-Life Advanced Effects. So make sure you have that installed. If you don't I have a tutorial that teaches you how to do that. Okay, next step, type in SV Cheats 1. After that, type in Merv, Sivar, Unhide All. Okay, so what that does is that unlocks a bunch of different commands that normally we wouldn't have access to if we didn't type that in, okay? Next command, R underscore 3D Sky 0. As soon as you put that in, your sky disappears, right? Have no fear, we're gonna replace it right now. The next step is we have to go to this website to know which skies are available to us, right? So let's minimize out of Counter-Strike. So you wanna go to this website, developer.valvesoftware.com wiki Counter-Strike Global Offensive Sky List, all right? You can pause it, type that in. I'll also put it in the description down below. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the names right here. CS Baggage Skybox, CS Tibet, Vietnam, Sky Lunacy, all the way down. We've got a whole bunch of them that we can use. Let's do sky underscore CSGO night O2. We're gonna copy that, go back into Counter-Strike, Strike. In Counter-Strike, type in SV sky name, and then paste that name in, hit enter. Bam, we have this beautiful night sky now. Kind of weird though. It's, it's night out, but dust two is lit up like it's daytime. You know what? Let's change it to something else. Let's go to the moon. How about it? Sky underscore lunacy. Let's copy that. Go back to Counter-Strike and type in SV sky name, and then paste and now we're on the moon. <laughs> Dust 2 is officially on the moon now. Oh my goodness gracious, this is crazy. You may be asking yourself, well, what if I don't wanna use any of those skies, right? What if I wanna use my own custom sky that I downloaded? Well, I'll show you. We want to go to a different website now. Ready? It's gamebanana.com slash mod slash cat slash 561. You can pause the video and copy it right now. I can also put it in the description for you, okay? All right, go to that website. And look, we have all of these options, all of these custom skyboxes that these modders made for us, all right? Let's just choose Northern Lights, though. Click on it. So let's scroll down, and let's go to Manual Download. Download and save it to our desktop, okay? All right, cool, so we have this RAR file, right? And I extracted it, and now we have this folder, okay? Let's double click and go to materials, and now we have the skybox folder with all of these different things, right? Let's go back, so we're in this materials subfolder. All right, what we wanna do next is we wanna navigate over to our Half-Life Advanced Effects folder. You wanna go to resources, you wanna go AFX hook source, you wanna go to assets, CSGO, and materials, okay? And then what you wanna do is you wanna come over here to that skybox you downloaded and drop skybox right in that materials folder in your Half-Life Advanced Effects folder, okay? So let's just remember the name, it's Northern Lights, okay, great. Now that that's in there, let's go back to Counter-Strike and let's type in SV sky name Northern Lights. Look at that. That is so cool. We just downloaded a skybox and applied it to our map here in CSGO. It's that easy. It's so cool. You can customize the look of your Counter-Strike with a few easy steps, and you can even go further by downloading custom skyboxes from Game Banana and applying them right to your game without much fuss. Now that you know how to change the skybox, can't wait to see what crazy shit you guys come up with. I'm pretty sure Dust 2 is going to be on Mars or something next time I watch this frag movie, now that you guys watch this. All right, cool. Anyway, hope that helped, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.